1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 1 through chapter 3, verse 15. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, I did not come proclaiming the testimony of God to you with superior speech or wisdom. For I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I came to you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. My speech and my proclamation were made not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of the Spirit and of power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. Yet among the mature we do speak wisdom, though it is not a wisdom of this age or of the rulers of this age who are being destroyed. But we speak God's wisdom, a hidden mystery, which God decreed before the ages to our glory, and which none of the rulers of this age understood. For if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, What no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the human heart conceived, what God has prepared for those who love him. God has revealed to us through the Spirit, for the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. For what human knows what is truly human, except the human spirit that is within? So also no one comprehends what is truly God's, except the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit that is from God, so that we may understand the gifts bestowed on us by God. And we speak of these things in words not taught by human wisdom, but taught by the Spirit, interpreting spiritual things to those who are spiritual. Those who are unspiritual do not receive the gifts of God's Spirit, for they are foolishness to them, and they are unable to understand them, because they are spiritually discerned. Those who are spiritual discern all things, and they are themselves subject to no one else's scrutiny. For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? but we have the mind of Christ. And so, brothers and sisters, I could not speak to you as spiritual people, but rather as fleshly as infants in Christ. I fed you with milk, not solid food, for you were not ready for solid food. Even now you are still not ready, for you are still fleshly. For as long as there is jealousy and quarreling among you, are you not fleshly and behaving according to human inclinations? For when one says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos, are you not all too human? What then is Apollos? What is Paul? Servants through whom you came to believe, as the Lord assigned to each. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. The one who plants and the one who waters have one purpose, and each will receive wages according to their own labor. For we are God's co-workers, working together. You are God's field, God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a wise master builder, I laid a foundation, and someone else is building on it. Let each builder choose with care how to build on it, for no one can lay any foundation other than the one that has been laid. That foundation is Jesus Christ. Now, if anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, the work of each builder will become visible for the day, will disclose it, because it will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test what sort of work each has done. If the work that someone has built on the foundation survives, the builder will receive a wage. If the work is burned up, the builder will suffer loss and the builder will be let's see if the work is burned up the builder will suffer loss the builder will be saved but only as through fire